Hey everybody, it's AJ. I'm just showing off a birthday art haul that I got from Amazon last week. These are the Prima Marketing uh, watercolor confections in the tropicals. I really love the vibrant colors and these are so wonderful and compact. I'm going to do a review soon. And this is the Dr. P.H. Martin's Iridescent Calligraphy Colors. I just fell in love with this color because it's so nice and, and I love the amount of mica that's in it. And it's called Enchanting Orchid or Iridescent Orchid, I'm sorry. And I'm going to do a little demo of this. So you can use these in a lot of different applications, but this is straight out of the bottle and I'm going to add some water to it. Whenever I first saw the color, I could just see myself using it in conjunction with watercolor as just a highlight or accents. This kind of reminds me of um, something from the 80s almost, like a, like a childhood um, color that I used to wear. But you can see how shimmery it is. It's gorgeous and nice and iridescent. I may have to get the rest of these, I don't know. They're pretty amazing, but yeah, we'll use that in a future project. And here's the creative lettering and beyond. Um, I'm trying to study some creative lettering that I can do in projects, and I just, I kind of love the idea of being um, a letterist, and my dad was actually a sign painter, so he would hand letter his signs, and it, it, I grew up with an appreciation of sign making and lettering so I just I really like the chalk lettering I like the the videos I've seen online and so I just thought I'd try a hand at it and then I got these um, just some cheapy little detail brushes because you can never really have too many of those if you really love detail <clears throat> excuse me and um, so that's pretty cool um, this is one of my favorites. Uh, it's the Dr. Martin's watercolor, concentrated watercolor. I have all four sets, but this is set B. This was the one that I didn't have. And uh, so I want to do a demo in the future on all of these, probably all four sets. So these are pretty amazing. You can use them for all kinds of stuff. You can use them for an airbrush or calligraphy or just straight out of the bottle concentrated. They last a really long time. They're extremely vibrant. They're not light fast, which is a big deal for some people, but honestly, I I don't mind it. It's something that I can cope with. I, I have solutions to that. But you kind of have to shake them up because the, the pigment settles at the bottom. I'm just kind of showing them off now. For whatever reason, I think of apothecary jars whenever I see them. I guess they have kind of a vintage look to them, so... but. Um, I'm not actually, I don't own these. Uh, these are the Zig Clean Color brush sets. And uh, I'm just borrowing them from a friend because she had about four different sets. And uh, she was kind enough to lend them to me. So I'm going to do a review on them in the future. And uh, I, I just love brush markers in general. And I think these are water-based, so you can make kind of a watercolor effect with them. And I also got the Zig Photo Signature. Now, I actually did buy this, <laughs> but I love the, the nib on it. It's really nice, too. And last but not least, I got the Brunzeal Design 24 Colored Pencil Set. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited about these. I actually have some vintage Brunzeal colored pencils, too, which I'll just do a review on these in the future. But they're some of the higher-end wax-based pencils. And some people have thought about them as a Prismacolor alternative. They do come in these really, really nice casings that are a little bit hard to get out of the uh, box themselves. But you can see that they're very high quality. They come from Holland. And one drawer has the bright colors. And then the second drawer here has some of the neutrals. And I had trouble getting it out. Sorry about that. But um, there's a fair amount of colors here. I'm, I'm very excited to use them here in the future. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really super stoked about these. So I'm going to awkwardly lay everything out here so that you can see it. <laughs> I'm excited to use these in the future and do reviews on them and implement them in my projects. So stay tuned to this channel. Um, I plan to upload at least one to two episodes a week so we can figure out what's going on and what will work. And um, thank you for liking, subscribing, and commenting. And go ahead and share this video with your friends. Bye.